Hey guys, what's going on? So somebody asked me recently um, about F11 top coat and whether or not you could put it on ceramic coating. And you know what? I had no idea. I believe you can. So you know what? Today we're going to test it. I still have a two ounce bottle here of F11 top coat. And what I've been using on top of my ceramic coating, uh, the, the ceramic Pro 9H, is this Car Pro Reload Silica Spray Sealant. All right. This stuff works great. I'm a big fan of this. Before I got the car ceramic coated, I was a big fan of F11 Top Coat only because it was the fastest and quickest shine I could get out of anything that I've used in the past. It does not live up to all the hype with everything else about layers and never having to use soap and blah, blah, blah. A lot of that nonsense uh, is just marketing. Uh, it does build up a layer does stay slick for uh, an extended period of time but with weather rain you know mud it's going to wear off it's water-based so it's not going to last longer than an actual ceramic coating but this stuff is literally sprayed on buff it off and if you've seen my video before it looks great and i love it and a lot of criticism from people is saying oh you're paid to do this no i'm not i don't know anybody at f11 top coat nor do i know anybody at car pro i just test stuff on my vehicle and if I like it I tell you about it if I don't like it I also tell you about it car pro reload is cheaper so I'm gonna be buying this I'm already telling you in advance that I will not be using this but since I had it and somebody asked me the question I will test it and show you unless I get some crazy amazing results I'm gonna stick with the car pro reload so let's get on outside and show you all right guys up first on the on the driver side of the hood I'm gonna use the f11 top coat so Spray a little bit on. And buff it right out. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's try a little on the gray paint. Tell you what, in this, I, I would need the sunlight. I really, I really think I would need the sun to see it. Well, it's really hard to tell, to be honest with you. Let me try section back here. I could feel the difference right away. I could feel that it's instantly slicker.
So that's the F11 on there. Makes it feel really smooth. Wow. All right. Well, I guess you can use this. All right, so now we're gonna try the Car Pro Reload. No works. It's hard to do this with one hand. Let's see side by side comparison. To the naked eye, it looks the same. F11, very slick. Car Pro Reload. Yeah. It's also slick, but I'll tell you what, man, I don't know. Uh, it's a coin toss. It's a coin toss. Use whichever one you want, but this one's cheaper. All right. So I just got done wiping on the uh, F11 top coat and the um, Car Pro Reload. And I thought, I honestly thought that this was going to blow it away because this is what was recommended to me. And um, this is what I've been using since I got the car ceramic coated. And I didn't think F11 top coat would actually work. I don't know why I thought that, but I actually thought, um, you know, that uh, this wasn't going to be suitable for it. But it works. Not only does it work, it actually works good. So... I got a point. I'm going to point a couple of things out. I'm going to grab this other GoPro here and I'm going to run outside and just point a couple of things out. Uh, now, again, this is all my opinion. I was going into this test really hoping not to promote this. This was great pre ceramic coating, but the reason I got the ceramic coating was because I wanted to get rid of using this. I thought, pay for it once, and that was it. And then I won't have to use this anymore and save money in the long run which is a huge myth behind ceramic coatings. Yes, they work great. They help you clean your vehicle. I love the fact that I got mine done. It does not mean you never have to wash your vehicle again. You're not just gonna power wash the car or, or use a sud cannon and just let it dry or rinse it off and it's gonna be done. Anybody online telling you otherwise is full of shit, okay? I tested that 
method to all these people bullshitting you online with the, all I did was foam can in it and rinse it off. You're full of shit, all of you, okay? All you guys out there who are making it seem like it's the best thing since sliced bread are not given honest reviews. And I, I know that now because I've tried it and it does not work 100% like you, some of you guys have claimed. Not all of you, some of you. You know who you are. Um, and if you're watching this and you have done that in the past, then you, shame on you for doing that and fooling people. Uh, a foam cannon and soap and just a power wash does not clean your vehicle 100%. You still gotta get your hands dirty. You still gotta get a microfiber mitt, two bucket uh, procedure, wipe it down and get all in, in, in everything. Uh, all these touchless car washes that they claim, they're not telling you everything, okay? And I dare anybody to prove me wrong. Dare you to prove me wrong because I've been testing it and it does not work. So back to this F11 top coat and I'll be honestly, I did not wanna have to come in here and promote this again because I was trying to move away from it with the ceramic coating. This stuff is, I love this stuff. This Car Pro Reload, it smells good and it works great. This actually, I think this beat it, to be honest with you. Um, this is a more expensive, but you can't tell the difference. To the naked eye, I can almost, I can't really tell the difference, but I'm in the shade, so that's one fault. There's no sun today. It's uh, late in the afternoon. And the other thing is the touch, you know, uh, moving my, running my fingers along the paint after I've used both. This has a slicker feeling to it. This feels a lot, uh, slipperier that's that's the bottom line um dang i really didn't want to uh i was hoping not to but i'm not gonna lie to you guys this stuff works it works on ceramic coating and it works well so i'm gonna go outside and i'm gonna take a couple of shots to show you again i apologize that it's in the shade tomorrow if there's some sunlight i'll go outside and show you a follow-up tomorrow and um uh, see how it reacts in a day or two. I'll, I'll go power wash it. Maybe tomorrow I'll just go rinse it and just show you how it either enhances it or just doesn't. So my recommendation is if you have F11 top coat, continue to use it, especially if you have a ceramic coating. Um, I'm not a scientist. If there's somebody out there going, oh, the chemical bonds are going to, do whatever, dude. I'm just going on visual and real world testing. I also recommend Car Pro Reload. Uh, this is one of the better products that I've used and I use their soap uh, today for the wash I use the Americana soap that Nick over at Auto Obsessions Detailing recommended to me I like that soap I used a lot of it I'm almost done two washes and I've almost used a 16 ounce bottle just because I really suds the crap out of the vehicle and let it sit so that's all I have for you today so yeah it, it, you know you're gonna see here in a second that uh F11 does work on ceramic coatings. All right, so let's look at some of the videos shot outside the vehicle and you guys can see for yourself what it feels like. All right, guys, just real fast. My, I, I use the F11 top coat on top of the ceramic coating and yes, it shined it a little bit more and it also, I mean, to the touch, it just feels super like slick, like, like, like a fresh wax. I mean, it feels, it feels better than like this part right here. Oh, I did this one. Hold on. Let me find a section that I didn't do. Right here. Okay. The best way to describe it is, all right, you see how my fingerprints are, right? Oh, like that, you see? Okay, so here, F11, super slick. Here, it's see my fingers starting to drag? And that's on just a ceramic coating. My fingers are literally like dragging. So watch. Here we go. All right, so real slick, and then they start to, and I'm not using any more pressure to bullshit you guys. I'm just saying that this, uh, real lightly, super, and then you get here, and then you start to feel it, almost like there's a uh, con like contaminants on top of the coating. Now on the hood, what we did was we used F11 top coat on this side. Uh, don't mind the the you could see the imperfection imperfections in the hood and that's because uh, this hood was not finished curing when we painted it we were under the impression that it was but it wasn't 
And so it's gonna be redone this summer. But again, shiny, nice and slick to the touch. Over here was the Car Pro Reload, also shiny and slick to the touch. Uh, I do notice this side where I did F11 feels a little bit slipperier than the Car Pro Reload. Not much, not much. So the Car Pro Reload also did a good, a really good job. Um, also left some dusty residue up here. What is that? Hmm. Don't know what that is. So there you go. I also used it on the rims, shined up the rims. So I check back in a day or two, and uh, I'm gonna just throw some throw some water on it, power wash it, and see how it reacts, and then I'll get back to you. All right, see. You.